Good morning. It's Nico. And it's Bethany. Welcome, Welcome back, back from break. break. Bishop Knoll's annual peanut butter drive is beginning Monday, Monday, January 13th. Each year, Bishop Knoll alum Bob Homridge of San Antonio, Texas, challenges Bishop Knoll students to bring in peanut butter to replenish the food bank of Northwest Indiana. This year's goal is to bring in 1,000 jars of peanut butter as a school. According to Mrs. Mary Ellen O'Neill, Advancement Director, after the holidays, the food banks are pretty depleted. Peanut butter is the most popular staple in a food bank. It is less expensive than meat, a good source of protein, and children like it. This is our 11th annual peanut butter drive, and we are more and more successful each year. The peanut butter drive ends on January 24th. Students should bring in jars to their homerooms. Bishop Noel welcomes Ms. Ashley Kinezer to our foreign language department. Kinezer will be teaching Spanish 2 classes in the afternoon. A former Spanish teacher at Marian Catholic, Kinezer brings much experience with her. Hello, I'm Nico and I'm here with... I'm Mrs. Kinezer, hello. I have a few questions to ask her. Um, first off, um, what are your experiences teaching? Um, I've been teaching Spanish for about seven years now. Um, in previous schools before, but now I'm here at Bishop Knoll. Okay, and what are some goals you have for this school year? Um, just getting to know my students and getting to know the culture here. I'm really excited to get to know everybody and um, spread my knowledge and get to know and learn from everybody here. Okay, the last question we have for you is what are you most excited for here at Bishop Knoll? Um, same idea. I like to I like to learn too. So I like to teach, but I also like to learn. So I think the opportunity happens with being here, knowing a little bit about Bishop Null. I'd like to learn a lot more and seeing mm -hmm. how you guys run things here, being warriors. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all we have. The freshman STEM students are first students to use the new Streamlab and all of its tools. Students are currently getting acquainted with the STEM curriculum under Mrs. Mary Albrecht. Ms. Kirk turn it up in there. And I'm here with Ms. Salbrecht. And I'm going to be asking her a few questions about the Streamlab. So what do you like most about the Streamlab? Um, I love that there's all this space now for our students to create their work. We had outgrown the one classroom that we were in. and there wasn't that room for their creativity to shine. So I'm excited about even just a space like that where students can, if I have a large class, they can really um, be in their own group and not be bothered by other students where they can just really focus on what they're creating. And I think it allows for them to think in different ways and think of all these new possibilities that they can do with their work. Okay, and what, what are you most excited for about the Streamlab? I'm excited to see what the students create with it. Like, I'm excited to see what they decide to do with the 3D printer, like what mm -hmm. they'll create. Or the freshmen, when they design their toys, what are they gonna come up with in this space uh, when we have no limitations on what they can do. With the Legos, with our new computers, they can really program the Legos to do all sorts of cool coding. The intro to engineering class and the principles of engineering class, they're gonna be able to use the prototyping lab and use some of the new machinery and really test that out. So I like, the unknown, that I don't know what's going to be created in here because I don't know what students are going to use this space for, and that's exciting. Like, I have my ideas of what I want them to use it for, but I, I can't wait to see what they're going to do and how they're going to take it away and create all sorts of cool stuff. Okay. Well, thank you. Was that and a good? You yeah. good? <laughs> that was good. And Nico's going to come back and use <laughs> this room on his... In local news, the Indiana Sheriff's Association scholarships will be awarding scholarships to high school seniors and college freshmen who are interested in pursuing a degree in criminal justice. Scholarships will be awarded to students that qualify. A recipient must be an Indiana citizen and a member of the department of a member of the Indiana Sheriff's Association. The scholarship application can also be downloaded from the Indiana Sheriff's Association website, www.indianasheriffs.org. The Australian wildfires have already killed 25 people and destroyed more than 1,000 homes. More than 1 billion, billion animals have perished due to the destruction of unique ecosystems. Some animals are even close to the threat of distinction, starvation, and dehydration. This will be the main cause of their deaths. The estimation of animal loss, such as koalas during this wildfire, spread concerns around the world. 
As firefighters continue to battle the flames across Australia, authorities in New South Wales say 24 people have been charged with deliberately setting fires. Starting a bushfire intentionally and being reckless in causing its spread can result into 21 years in Australian prison. The 2020s are already a bad decade for big box stores. Kmarts are officially closing. Kmart will be shutting down 45 locations this February. Pier 1 Imports is closing up to 450 locations, cutting jobs in half of its stores, about 942 of them. Pier 1 is closing the locations as a necessary decision to better align its business with the current operating environment. This is all for your news update. Here is sports with Brittany and Cece.